What's up, y'all? This your girl, J. Coy, back with another video. I hope all is well. So today's video is going to be a review about um, a movie that I recently watched. And I hope I pronounced it right, but I believe it's a mandolin. I think I said that. But um, before I get completely into the topic of this video, I would like to do a quick shout out um, to let you guys know that I have an upcoming upcoming Valentine's album and I hope that you guys are ready um <laughs> I can't wait I have an upcoming album that you guys should be on the lookout for you know the each post on my IG is a little taste of it I would say but i'm excited um the album is named xo so definitely follow me on instagram to kind of see the process of um the temptation i will say um leading up to the release date which is february 14th valentine's so it is out at the right time you know it's popping at the right time you know but um Enough about that. Just, you know, just be on the lookout for all that. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, this movie, A Mandolin, or A Mandolin. But this movie hits hard. Like, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but of course I'm a writer. But um, I love really good films that really draws to me and with this movie just the title alone it just it just it took me in and then with the title plus the um the cover of it it definitely and before i get into this i just want to do a quick shout out to the whole production crew like it perfectly cast okay well structured you know well directed just overall beautiful in my opinion your your flowers but i'm going to show you guys um the the trailer <clears throat> before getting into my thoughts of the film and just how it left me really heartfelt so just seeing the trailer it really had me like questioning a lot of stuff and i love when things have me questioning like instantly like i'm a big fan of john singleton movies uh rest in peace but i really love that shit movie, okay um 
he's really a role model um for me when it comes down for me writing in general um and you know hopefully one day you guys you guys will see those um but this film reminds me of a little bit of that um but it really draws me this film really hit hard it gave another insight in my opinion of the struggle like of course black history month you know reminds all of us of the struggles and and just hardship but this movie really hits hard um it gives a really different insight of to the word struggle in my opinion and even though I'm not necessarily an older, older sibling, I would say that, you know, it definitely, but let me get to that. Talk about the boo bear. Let me talk about the boo bear. All right. So anyway, a mandolin. So this movie takes place in South Africa. And um, I believe it takes like the time zone. Like it takes... Well, it takes place in the 80s, I want to say. 1980s? I think. some Somewhere around there. So, um, of course, I'm not here to give any spoilers. You know, I want you guys to watch it. Really check it out. I think it's perfect time to just check it out due to... Um, I will, I think it's a perfect time to check it out. We're in Black History Month. So I think it fits really perfect with the times of just showing appreciation and just learning more on what happened, you know, in the past. Watching this film, to me, it just reminds me on times where I know or I've seen where some people tend to forget, you know, and of course, it's always good to heal and move on. But these things still happened. And a lot of this stuff still take place today, just in a modern form. Um, but, you know, I'm always hoping for better days, better equal quality. This film starts off, and I will say in a better term, because I, like I said, I don't want to give any spoilers. So I'm going to be talking in, in bits and pieces, and I'm not going to be covering like directly on how the movie goes, but just what I'm instantly thinking about um, that really stood out for me in the film. But this movie kind of starts off with, um, to me, a pleasant family that's trying to maintain the peace in their time round. Um, you know, show care and loving to their two sons that's named Impy and Nakasa. Apologize if I'm not pronouncing, it. so sorry. Um, but I really like those names. They're, they're very unique as well. But um, along the lines, they eventually lose their parents. And they basically are forced to survive on their own. Now, keep in mind, this is a time frame where poverty is heavy. And so when I seen the situation like developing... I had to look from it from both ways you know it's like damn you know you feel really bad for the the characters but then you also understand the extra characters on their point of view on why they're so pushy you know they're not welcoming um just because they're facing you know poverty themselves not ten they're struggling to provide for the family they currently have to where they really don't have room to give a helping hand and you know and, it, and it's really sad you know that you know we over time became like that to our own kind but you know this was kind of like an insight of slowly developing on how we are today you know how we treat each other and stuff like that so it's just that whole the whole scene of that really like stuck with me on that and 
the older brother, MP, he had to be forced to become, well, not forced, but they, yes, forced. He had, to, he had to become forced to be a man overnight, you know, coming from a kid to a man overnight, that is really tough. Because also during those times, they wasn't really handing out jobs to to kids and just stuff like that. So um, it's just that's that's really tough. Just dealing with that, you know, as a kid, you know, not really used to reality yet. I really felt very like heartbroken when I seen that that scene of developing and you know just not no one helping them out to where you know they really had to realize the survival of the fittest definition like really fast but moving forward over time you know they do get older and um the older brother he has drastically made a lot of sacrifices to provide now that situation just providing for a sibling it really hit even harder because even though I'm not the oldest, um, just seeing like TikTok viewers, not viewers, but TikTok videos where, you know, older siblings have to take in, <clears throat> excuse me, have to take in their younger siblings either because the parents can't take care of them or they don't want them or they're pushing the responsibilities onto the oldest to where, you know, that weight as an oldest is always there um, to do stuff like that, like automatically in a lot of households. Um, but, you know, seeing this, you know, something that is being forced, you know, upon the older brother's shoulders. As a little brother, you know, he grows up. You know, they actually, they, of course, they both grow up. And the little brother has a different point of view of life. You know, he got inspired to um, join the police academy. And during those times, it was kind of like, a, I wouldn't say a disrespect, but it was just kind of like a, a slap in the face to the community as it is and the fact that a lot of them didn't believe in the cops force or they didn't believe that it would be for their best interest. And of course, race played a big part into that belief. You know, we, you know, you go by the knowledge, you know, you go by the experience that you've seen or your ancestors have went through, like you, you're in the time zone to where, you know, I probably wouldn't trust them. Just saying. He's got inspired because he wants to make a difference and it's always good for cops to make a difference. And I do salute all the good cops that's out there, but there's very hard um, to find. But I salute all the ones that really do want to make a change. We need more of you. So they have a divide, like, you know, so by the little brother want to be a cop, they have to pretty much divide because the older brother, he's pretty much about to start, you know, a new set of life on his own little journey or whatnot, you know, and just leaving his brother in well wishes um, in this like scene that I'm thinking of. But let me just fast forward a little bit because like I said, no spoilers for real with me. We ain't doing that on this one. But, um, oh yeah, the big fact that I was saying I wanted to get to that I said that plays a big part in the oldest brother character. And I know I'm probably talking a lot about the old brother character and maybe is because, I don't know, he just plays a big part in a lot of this, like a lot of it. But um, but the, t the main thing that I feel like the old brother did, and it's something that we all can do at times or tend to do for the sake of the ones we love protect you know, or protection. Like we're trying to protect them mentally as well. And I would say the lies that the older brother told 
you know, to basically help his brother go to sleep at night. Because I'm pretty sure if he told his brother what he really was doing to provide, it wouldn't have been the same. You know, his brother probably wouldn't even want to be a cop. His brother probably would have been just like him, you know. But it's like, dang, you know, the older brother is doing it for really a good cause. And there's no, like, outlet. Like, there's not a lot of options, you know. Um, and when you start lying, it's really hard to stop lying. Especially when you're lying and it's like, now you believe the lies. But that's not even that. It's just the weight of the lies that the brother had to keep dealing with and it took this one dramatic tragedy event to really break him and in, in, in all of the sins like he was really beating himself down and probably really disappointed in his whole entire life because I really doubt that he saw that um for himself because as a kid, he seemed very promising and a really positive role model um, as a kid. And, you know, seeing the transition of that, that truly also broke my heart. But along the lines, you know, the older brother, you know, he's still trying to be the man. He's still trying to provide. And along those lines, he does get really threatened. And that's what puts him in tragedies or, or a tragic um, events is because he's threatened his life is threatened the people that he truly love lives are threatened like not completely directly but you know and he's trying to control everything you know so it's like if I lie more this would just make the process more smoother but I in my opinion I felt like he should have eventually told the truth like at least to his significant other, he should have told her the truth. And maybe things would have been a little bit differently. But when you keep people in the dark, it's really hard for people to really assist you. Even though you may feel like, even if I tell them, they might not still be able to do nothing. I mean, and that could have been his mentality throughout, you know, the film. You know, it's like, who do I vent to? Who cares? You know, I have to provide. And there's nothing, you know, talking about it is going to do anything. You know, who knows what the character's, you know, mindset was fully going to. But it's just seeing the outcomes of things. It's like, dang, the man that you wanted to protect still couldn't completely be protected. You know, you still end up losing what you really didn't want to lose in the begin with. And sometimes that's a double-edged sword at times when dealing with situations like that. Um, but the way that it was written out all the way to the end... It definitely flew. Um, it definitely, it definitely flowed completely through. But it was, it was. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> y'all should really watch this movie. I mean, it's, it's good. I mean, yes, it's a lot of drama. You know, it, it's gonna take you through some motions because I don't know. I was, I was like lost after watching the movie it was almost like i couldn't even watch anime after that i was just like i i'm just stuck in this feeling you know and i couldn't get rid of that and so i was just like th this you know not every movie leaves me hanging like that but this one really truly did and maybe because there was so much deep meaning and you know oh this is another um fact that I want to say about how we're quickly to judge so there's also a scene that you know, like I said the older brother and his lies and so his lies you know eventually catches up with him necessarily um but the brother before the brother really could fully understood what his older brother was going through he automatically assumed and judged like completely and at first I was a little bit confused at first but then I had to really sit back and like oh okay so it, it was like the moment where I realized that the lies that he were doing because I was like I thought he knew what his brother was doing 
you know, since the fact that he provided as a kid, you know, still in something then. And that's why I thought maybe he knew what his brother had to do. But, you know, sometimes people feel like lying about certain things does make it easier. In some cases, for little kids and stuff, it, it kind of does make things easier. And it kind of shows a sense of just being an adult. And, and he stated the fact that, you know, lying to his little brother, it became like a normal thing, a habit. And I'm like, you know, a lot of adults feel that way. Like, just a lot feel that way. And um, it was at the fact that the, the little brother judged. And, the, you know, the fact that seeing the brother being honest for once about everything. And and you really see the, the mental breakdown of someone that has been holding so much weight on their shoulders and they don't know what to do because it's like you have to look at their journey and he didn't have no rubric of how to survive, how to provide, what do I do, you know, how do I get money? Like as a kid, I only can imagine doing those times on how hard it was to even just survive, you know, some type of decency life. But I, just, I think maybe it was the times or the situation. I'm not sure exactly what pulled me completely in, but I just know a lot of deep feelings I felt throughout the movie. Like I truly put myself in the shoes of the characters. The fact that the brother did judge, and eventually the brother did, the little brother, you know, he did try to um, reshow somewhat um, like regret but it was not enough time to really understand it because sometimes when you do build up a lot of lies, it's hard to really come back from that sometimes. And um, I can't even say that because I don't want to give away the movie. But um, it's just really hardship. You know, um, time really doesn't wait for nobody. And I really do hate how the lifespan of the brothers um, turned out. Hell, I, I was I was really hoping that he um, made it out. But, you know, this movie, the fact that it's called Power, it definitely gives... A really good description of power and I can't really find the, the exact words of what I'm trying to express and usually it always never comes out right when I'm trying to express it but then when I'm really in the zone at times it comes out perfectly but unfortunately this is not the time <laughs> but um, this movie just gave me a lot of emotions but I give it five stars you know, um, you guys really should watch it. It's definitely drama, but it really hits home for people that if you ever struggled or understood a person that had to sacrifice. But even if you don't really understand the concept, it does leave you wondering, you know, about a lot of other people's lives. And it leads you to where it's like, if you was in their shoes, would you make the similar um mistakes or would you change a few things you know but um the movie was really good to me but um of course if you guys have seen it please let me know in the comments tell me what you your thoughts is about the movie i know i probably like blah 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 you know about a lot of stuff but let me know what you guys think let me know if y'all did see it and what type of rating would you guys give the movie? But for me, it's definitely hit home. I definitely recommend it to anybody. And um, until next time, oh yeah, oh yeah. Make sure y'all be looking out on Valentine's Day for my album XO. <laughs> it's gonna be a treat, I promise. But until next time, y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.